Um, this is one of the Stores guitars. This is a Breed Love. Check out that wood there. I'll hold it up to the mic so you can see it a little better. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of different kinds of woods used in guitars. There's mahogany and maple and rosewood and spruce and sitka. This is monogamy. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. Very hard. Yeah. One of a kind. <laughs> the wood you're stuck with for life. Four ago. <laughs> the last two tunes I played, uh, Leo Kotke, have y'all heard of him before? Yeah. I um, remember playing in Alabama, a guy asked me if Leo Kotke was a Jewish holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use my, my metal finger picks and my thumb pick, and Leo called them my Freddy Krueger starter set once. And I got real self-conscious, so I got rid of them. He told me to stop playing with picks or I'd get elbow tendonitis. And so the first note I hit was a bass note, and I went in my thumb, and I went whack and flew off, so I mailed it to him. Um, drew a picture of a hand on a page and super glued the thumb on where it should go. And I addressed it to Leo's nail repair shop, and I sketch taped a couple quarters to the page. Wrote on the bottom, please allow six to eight weeks for delivery, and sent it to his record company, and they forwarded it on to him. It's just pretty funny. It tells you about his record company. They were like, oh, Leo would like this. <laughs> <laughs> and so he gave me a quote on the back of my first CD that said, Richard's a weird guy. <laughs> so I put that on there. And, um, but I found out years later that his wife that he had actually kept my thumbnail and his plan was in case one of his broke he was going to use mine to repair his <laughs> and uh, I told that story to Larry Coriel in an airport in Atlanta um, have you heard of Larry Coriel? Yeah. Great jazz player. When guitar players get together it's usually a safe bet just to talk about fingernail care and when I got done telling Larry that story he looked at me and said wow Leo's got a nail repair shop <laughs> Jazzers. Anyway, this is a tune I wrote. Originally it was eight minutes long. It was called Echoing Wilderness and Leo recorded it and called it Echoing Gilowitz. wrote this I was trying to hypnotize my dog and she fell asleep in like three minutes and I went into a trance and four hours later I had a tune. <laughs>
Thank you.